Imagine you're going to visit your family. They live next to a river. A nice place, but it's been a while and you get lost on your way there. Thankfully, you have a phone, so you take out a map, you type in the address, and you hear a reassuring voice. In 100 meters, turn left. You get back on track and you meet with your family. Now, imagine that a few months later, there's a storm. Your family, who live near that river, are in the path of a growing flood. Thankfully, they have been listening to the weather forecast, so they gather their belongings and evacuate to higher ground. They're safe. Who is the hidden hero in both of these examples? Satellites. From GPS to weather forecasting, satellites support our modern life. But it can be easy to forget about them. After all, satellites are far above our heads, out of sight. Most satellites fly in a small region of space called low Earth orbit, which is a few hundreds of kilometers up there, where the atmosphere vanishes into space. Actually, that area is getting pretty crowded. Over the next few years, the number of satellites may increase by 10 or even 100 times compared to today. If we want to keep using GPS and weather forecasting, we need to make sure that those new satellites aren't going to crash into each other. It turns out that it's quite difficult to control how satellites move around in space. So what are the options? We could use a thruster and push chemicals out of a satellite at high speed. But satellites are small and can't carry that much fuel. So instead of using something inside a satellite, how about using something already there in the space environment? Remember that atmosphere I was talking about? It turns out that in low Earth orbit, there's still just about enough air to push a satellite around, a little bit like a boat sailing on the ocean. In fact, if we can store a real sail inside a satellite, then when we open it up, the satellite can get a real push. If we also make the sail reflective, a bit like a mirror, then we can also push the satellite using the wind created by the sun, consisting of particles called photons. In my research, I'm looking at new ways of using sails inside small satellites. Instead of going into space, which is quite difficult, I have made simulations to bring space to my computer. I have found that by using a sail shaped like a pyramid, we can control the direction of a satellite without giving it any instructions, a little bit like a shuttlecock when you're playing badminton. In future, these devices may help to control the motion of satellites and prevent them from bumping into each other. So next time you're using your phone to check your location or to see what the weather is like, spend a second or two thinking about those satellites hidden in the background.